Good morning, you guys! Today is day two of filming, and today's gonna be a really exciting day because we are going snorkeling, and I think we're going to, um, it's called the Rio Secreto. I'm probably screwing that up, but um, it's a cenote, and basically that is one of those limestone caves that's gonna have um, some water in the bottom, so that's gonna be really cool. I got my power break going today because we are snorkeling and going to be in the water, and today's the day I'm gonna test out all those products that I showed you about the other day, so. Let's get to it. So Cancun is actually home to one of the world's largest underwater artificial art attractions in the world. And we're about to dive right in. Cancun is home to one of the world's largest underwater art attractions. And today, we're diving right in. Three, two, one. Woo! We start our snorkeling adventure in the Caribbean Sea with a guided tour of Musa. There are over 500 permanent and life-size monumental structures, and they were crafted with specialized material to promote coral life. Speaking of coral, that's exactly where we're going to head next second largest coral reef in the world. The Great Mayan Reef stretches over a thousand kilometers and is inhabited by over 500 species of fish. There are numerous species that live in or around this reef system that are in danger or under some degree of protection and that is why this underwater museum is so important for preserving what remains. As a quick update, playing comb, you're killing it with this waterproof mascara. Mark says so. <laughs> this is Rodrigo. We are putting together no. this granola bar because we're gonna throw it and some fish are gonna come get it. And what's gonna happen? They wanna eat it. They wanna eat it, like me. <laughs> Swimming part one for the day is over. Now it's time to go to those in those days, but uh, it is time for a drink, it is time for something to eat, and to just recharge, because your crew is hungry. <laughs> Supposedly, there are tons of stalactites and stalagmites, and this is actually the largest partially underwater cave network in the Yucatan Peninsula, so that's gonna be pretty cool. And I don't know what it basically includes us para. what is it? Us like gliding down or just like doing the cave, but it should be cool. Another bathing suit moment. Well, it seems as though we've hit another roadblock. Basically, this place closes uh, a little bit earlier than uh, we were expected or told, so we may have to come back here. We may not be doing this one, but uh, it looks cool and has been featured in National Geographic, so if we don't come back, this is kind of a place you may want to check out. Uh, yeah. All right, so we ended up having to come back to the hotel Sometimes don't the things don't work out like you'd like them to. Sometimes sentences you say don't come out like you'd like them to, like just now. Um, so we are back at the hotel. We have a couple things that we can wrap up from yesterday's shoot as well as today's shoot, the one that actually did happen. So we're going to do that and kind of make the most of it and then really get into the nitty gritty of the planning to make sure nothing like this happens again. But I'm starting to get a tan, so I'm actually kind of happy about that. And side note, the waterproof mascara that I picked up was incredible. So if you haven't seen the video of the waterproof stuff that I picked up for um, Mexico, I'm gonna link that in below because if you're going on a trip, I highly suggest all of these products. It's hot over here. <laughs> 
another day done, another day filmed, but I've got to say the best part about being, okay, no, no, not the, not the best part, but one of the greatest parts about being anywhere in the States or Mexico is that when I get ready, I get to watch the OC because we don't have that in Canada Netflix, which sucks. Netflix, get on that. But now, tonight, we have a reservation for the Tapanyaki restaurant, so we're gonna go watch them make us some sush, some Tapanyaki right in front of us. So I'm gonna go, gonna go do that. Gotta do some quick voiceovers, but then dinner time, and I will see you guys tomorrow.